Well, I feel I go on about this quite a lot, actually. Perhaps a bit too much. It's the state of the way we throw things away. Let me show you what I would pass by this morning. So there we have a couple of fridges, a washing machine, pile of broken plastic. It's a real shame, actually. But I'm going to take that washing machine. So we're going back to the lab. It is unfortunately a, uh, not a direct drive, but I'm still going to take it to pieces for the bits, and that's really easy. Same thing, see a screw, undo it, can't undo it, cut it out with an angle grinder. So let's get this thing to pieces and see what bits we've got. Okay, after undoing it, this is what I've kept. Now I've kept the actual drum itself, and then the drum enclosure, the bottom half that's got the bearings in it, I've kept. Of course, the motor, the flywheel. This pump I've kept because it's an awesome thing. I love these pumps actually out of washing machines. Because it's a shame that it's a direct drive motor. It, uh, sorry, this, uh, this motor. It'd be nicer if it was direct drive, but it'll be a few years before I see those on the scrap pile. But I kept those bits, and <laughs> they are a bit gross, eh? They're uh, covered in lime scale and other people's hair, but it's nothing that a good wash won't take care of. Okay, so I've cleaned all the crud off of it, which was not a nice job. And now what I want to do is slice some holes down here, going from top to bottom with the angle grinder at some kind of distance. Now, I'm just guessing that distance, okay? So let's grab the angle grinder and cut some slots in. Okay, so I've cut the slots there and i put a little T-slot at the top and bottom of each, which means I can twist each one of these out. So we can give those a twist and obviously file off the sharp edges, and we need to do that all the way around. I've the washer drum, I've washed it all out, and what I've done is I've sawn off the sides. <coughs> to leave it this as a best play, because remember that washy um, stainless steel fitted really nicely in here had the drive pulley here and the motor mounted here, all in the correct relationship. So I did think about putting it upside down, having it as a stand, swapping those bearings round, but I figured that having the motor mount in its place was actually really worth it. I mean, it will get in the way of the wind, but, you know, these things are pros and cons all the way around, and that's what I've decided to do. So I'll clean this up a little bit, and we'll put that drum back in here. So once I stuck it back on its base, I put these four bolts in, actually, as little feet in the original fixing points, and I've connected back up the pulley wheel. Now, of course, it turns. It turns because it's a washing machine. And what we're going to do now is put the motor onto the side and put that fan belt back on. Okay, with that back in place, ah, there it is. We can turn that upside down, or if you like, the right way around. There we go. Now, obviously, if we spin that, then we turn the Okay, so all I've done is hook it up to the meter and we're going to give it a spin by hand. Now we know this thing turns in the wind because it's the same design that we used when we did the drum out of the dryer. So design will turn in the wind. Now, just feeling it, it's a lot stiffer than the other design. So the wind's going to need to be a little bit stronger, that's for sure. Here's the motor rigged up to the voltmeter. So if you keep your eye on the voltmeter and I give that a spin, there we go. It generates really easily. Now we're using this universal motor. The motor itself has enough remnant magnetism in there to get it going. But if you worry about that, you can attach a, a capacitor or a battery across the uh, field coils, give it a quick zap, and it'll start up. And once it starts up and generates, it'll feed itself. And so you'll need that start zap if you're not actually getting anything. But as you can see, the thing actually works all by itself anyway. Now then, how much this will produce? I don't know. But I do know that it cost me absolutely nothing. I mean, the longest job in this was actually washing the drum. Putting the rest of it together was a piece of cake. So in terms of what you spend for generation, nothing. Now, it will make a pretty cool project, I think. I'm not sure about the utility of it, but it'll make a cool project for a science fair, for sure. Uh, if you want to go to the trouble, then you do get free energy and it hadn't cost you anything there was no extra parts and it was a fun project to do so who knows anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching <laughs>